Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And good morning to all. So, insyaAllah today we continue our lecture session with chapter 3. Uh, entitled Voltage Drop and Short Circuit Analysis. Before we start our lecture, let us recite Surah Al-Fatiha. Al-Fatiha. Okay, for this chapter, we will talk about more on the voltage drop and also the short circuit analysis. This is the outlines of this chapter. We have the introduction, okay, what is voltage drop, and then uh, voltage ranges. This one is, we will see what is the percentage of the limitation for the voltage drop for certain types of uh, electrical appliances, and then more detail on definition of voltage drop, uh, cable impedances, uh, we have to identify what is the voltage drop for the transformer, for the motor starting, and then we will um, include also about the symmetrical and asymmetrical fault currents, the equivalent system impedance, and then finally the short circuit analysis in three and single phase systems. Okay, introduction. Um, normally, voltage drop on electrical power distribution system is mainly caused by the cables, okay, conductors, transformers, and also motors. Okay. And then um, these voltage drops happen when the load current or IB flows through a conductor or transformer having a finite impedance. Okay, just a simple illustration of this uh, voltage drop is like this. For example, you have cable, okay, cable here. Then you connect your cable to your electrical appliances. Okay. Either use um, laptop, tablet, and so on. So here, um, So in this cable, we have the we have the impedance. Eh? We have the impedance. So normally, for example, in cable, the impedance of the cable, uh, we have, for example, zero point eight ohm. Okay, and then we have the voltage input, for example, one hundred and twenty VAC. So the current flowing, okay, we have the current flowing in the cable. So for example, I equals to 10 amps, okay, the current flow in the cable 10 amps. So we have here I equals to 10 amps. And then we have here R equals to 0 0.8 ohm. So here we can calculate the voltage drop equivalent. So we know that V equals to I times R okay, or Z. So I is 10 we times with 0 0.8. Then we get... 8 volt. So 8 volt is the uh, voltage drop. Okay, voltage drop. Sorry, voltage drop. So you can calculate the V output is equivalent to 100 and 20, which is the V input minus V drop. Minus 8, so equivalent to 112 VAC. So this is 112 VA. Uh, 
Um, so severe voltage drop will result in motor failures, dimming of lamps, and CPU shutdown. Uh, it's very, it can cause um, failures if uh, we have severe voltage drop. Therefore, voltage drop is very voltage drop is very important to be calculated in order so that the system designer can maintain the nominal voltage at the servicing sites. So this is the about the voltage range according to 17th edition of IEE wiring regulations BS7671 2008 table 12a the voltage drop between the origin of an installation um, and any load point should not be greater than the values in table 12a this one is the table 12a for the voltage drop expressed with respect to the value of the nominal voltage of the installation maximum 100 meters only so if lead, if more above than 100 meters so have to consider 0.005% per meter for the voltage drop. Uh, that, um, that is allowed. Eh? Okay, so for example, this one, if we uh, look at the, uh, the, the voltage drop table. Uh, so low voltage installation supplied directly from a public low voltage distribution system. So the lighting is about 3%. Okay, the voltage drop allowed is 3%. Other users is 5%. For example, if you have a PE here, PE or the distribution substation, which are electric or the distribution substation or DB. Okay, so you have connected wiring to your uh, DB house. Okay, so we have there is DB house, your DB house. Okay. Uh, your DB house, okay. So maximum length from the DB, from the DB distribution. Sorry, this not is DB. This is the distribution substation. Sorry, yeah. Distribution substation to your DB house. Maximum is hundred meters. Okay. So hundred meters. Um. So the voltage drop that you can consider for hundred meters is. For lighting is 3% and other users is 5%. Okay. If your length from the distribution substation to your DB is more than 100 meters, then you have to consider the voltage drop must, uh, the allowed voltage drop is increase of 0.005 percent per meter per meter only okay that is the regulation that have been stated um, by the authorities and then the second one is low voltage installation supplied from private lv supply so any private lv supply the ssu or so on so you have to consider more uh, percentage for the voltage drop you can consider more uh, which is 6% for the lighting and other uses is 8%. So this is the phaser diagram uh, representing the voltage drop uh, phenomenon. Okay, so we have here is the I, okay, the current, and then here is the uh, sending voltage. Okay, because of the voltage drop, the receiving voltage is decreased. Okay. So this is the, uh, the section for voltage drop for the resistance part. And then this is the voltage drop uh, for the inductance part. Because we know that Z equals to uh, R plus GX. Okay, this is the impedance. Okay, impedance. Okay, this is the resistance and this is the inductance so from here we can calculate the voltage drop
Okay, so um, we have to know what is the definition of the voltage drop. So the definition of this voltage drop uh, can be used by using this equation. So how to get this equation? So by this phasor diagram. So this phasor diagram is very important to identify uh, to identify the formulation for the voltage drop, especially this part. Okay. So how to get this uh, equation? Okay. Actually, first you have to know you have to draw the triangle here. Okay. So from the phasor diagram, we can draw this uh, triangle. So we have here is the VR. Okay. So this is the resistance, the voltage for the resistance. This is the voltage drop. And this is the voltage for the um, inductance. Okay. So because of this um, uh, system, the previous system is the inductive load. So we have to consider that this, um, the imaginary part is negative. Okay. So this is the, this is the theta. Okay. So we know that VD, we have vector here. We have the direction. So it is a vector. So equals to VR vector minus j v x okay so if we want to consider the real uh, values so it is like this equation okay sorry this equation know the imaginary parts okay so we know that so we have to um to derive what is VR and what is VX. Okay, so VR we know that VR equivalent to R you have two times with IR and VX equivalent to X times IX. Okay, so for this one is for the volt voltage and this one we analysis for the current so here is ix here is the ir or resistance and this one is i okay the load current so this one is the theta okay so um from here, we can get cos theta is IR over I. Okay. So we get IR equivalent to I cos theta. And then we have here is sine theta is equivalent to Ix over I. So we got Ix, this one is X, huh? X equivalent to I sine theta, sine theta, okay? So let's say this is one equation. This is the second equation. This one is the third equation. And this one is the fourth equation. Okay. 